What's up now? Crap! Guess where I'm at? Oh my gosh! I'm at the post office. And let me cover my address. I'm at the post office. And I'm about to mail off this package to Tallahassee so that I can get my license. And I can't stop. Like, I'm just cheesing. Let me cover my mouth because I'm like cheesing from ear to ear. I'm so excited. Finally. Like, I never thought this day would come. Like, it felt like. It was years ago that I started nail school, but here I am, and I'm about to drop my package off. So I want to show you guys, I want to take you with me, you've been on the entire journey with me, you might as well come to drop off my envelope, so let's go. All right, now crew, so this might be my last school vlog. If I could think of anything else, no, nah, it won't be my last school vlog. Cause what I'll do is I'll make different vlogs telling you guys things that I couldn't tell you when I was in school. You know what I mean? Like, cause I wasn't sure if the teachers or anybody um, watched me and then uh, there was things that I just didn't want to say while I was in school. So this won't be my, my last school vlog, but this is my last day going to the school. I just left. Um, I just left my exit interview. Oh my gosh! So I did an exit set of nails. I did my exit exam, which was also my state board exam. My school just happened to be registered to proctor the state board exam. So I did that. Now I had to go in and do my exit interview. Oh my gosh! All these exit, exit, exits, right? So in the interview, basically, she just told me that I had to complete my four hour HIV course, which is a little class that you do online. You pay the $15, you take like a little quiz online or whatever, you print your certificate. So you have to do that and you send that in for your license. I also had to do a barbicide course. You also get like a barbicide certificate I'm so sorry, I had to turn my air condition down. Um, but you also get a barbicide certificate and that's just saying that you know how to use barbicide. What else? Um, that was pretty much it. So then she went over the application for the state with me. It's about three or four pages that I had to fill out. And it's really, really just basic. There's nothing crazy on the application. You just check that you did everything you were supposed to do, put your personal information in, send a check off for $65, I wanna say it is, and you send that to Tallahassee. So I got my paperwork in, I did all my certifications and everything, I'm done with that. And now I am on my way to the post office. I'm on my way to the post office because I want to send this packet off ASAP. <laughs> Here's another thing that I wanted to just say, and I guess I'm bringing it up for everybody else who is in my same position. We all know you're not supposed to be doing nails without a license. We know that. Well, in the state of Florida, I'm talking for Florida, you're not supposed to be doing nails without a license. So a lot of people post on Instagram and Facebook, um, nail enthusiasts. I'm one of those, I'm like, I'm guilty as well. But we'll say like nail enthusiasts or self-taught that da, 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 schedule an appointment with me. If somebody tells on you, if you have that hater or somebody to report you to the state, then that could stop you from getting your license. So I am so afraid of that happening to me. I am not doing anybody's nails until my license comes in, point blank, period. I'm not doing anyone's nails. So, I mean, of course I'm still gonna do Muffin's nails. That's my daughter, like, come on, I'm doing my, my daughter's nails. I'll do my niece's nails, things like that, but I'm not doing anyone's nails that's not related to me or definitely not charging someone for a set of nails until I get my license because imagine you come this far imagine like you are like so close to the finish line you sent your packet off or and everything's done and then boom you get that knock on the door from the state and they're like hmm we got word that you've been doing nails illegally what I, 
would just die. Excuse me? What? Mm -mm, I'm not taking a chance. So <laughs> I'm on my way to the post office. I'm going to send this application off. It takes anywhere from, I think they said about two to four weeks to get the, uh, the license number. Anywhere from two to four weeks is what she told me. But I've had classmates who said that their number came like online within like the first three to five days. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I'm not in a rush, I'm not in a rush. I'm going to let the universe handle it and take control and I'll get my license when I'm supposed to get my license. But um, yeah, so that was the exit interview. It wasn't really an interview. She didn't ask me my thoughts or feelings. She didn't ask me if I love the program, hate the program, what I would change. Like these are things that an exit interview should entail. What did you like about the program? What didn't you like? What would you change if you could? She didn't care any of that. She didn't care. She just was like, this is the application. Fill out this, this, this. Send it off with the check. Have a nice day. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good because I didn't have time to sit there and chit chat with her anyway. Um... But I'm going to tell y'all what I like and what I didn't like. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. Because there's a lot of things that I liked and a lot of things that I hated about that program. Mm. Woo! I couldn't tell y'all that when I was in school, though. I refuse to say anything negative about something, a place, a person that I would definitely see the next day and have to pretend like I didn't say that. Like, I, I hate those type, I'm not gonna say I hate, that's a strong word. I dislike those type of people. So I'm not gonna be that person. But now that I don't have to go back to that school, <clears throat> woo! <laughs> now that I don't have to go back, honey, we could sip some tea and chat, okay? <laughs> Um, but that is it. I'm about to eat my lunch and then head to the post office. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All righty. Off we go. It's so, do you hear these animals? It is so loud. I wish I could turn them off or turn them down for a little bit, but I can't. All right, so here we are at the post office. Look how beautiful, guys. Look how beautiful this post office is. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous for no reason. All right, let's go. Alrighty, guys, here I am heading into the post office finally, and I just wanna say thank you so much for being on this journey with me from start to finish. A lot of you have just started nail school. First of all, congratulations. And secondly, this is going to be you one day soon, going to the post office and mailing off your application. How exciting, how exciting for both of us, right? I'm already excited for you and you didn't even graduate. Like all of you, all of you who have just started school and have hit me up in my DMs and told me, hey, I'm in school now because of you. Oh my God, that feels so good to me. Like that really, really does. So congrats in advance, guys, congrats in advance. All right, guys, so that is it. I dropped it off. Now there's nothing to do but wait. Um, I think it's about a week to 10 days turnaround. So I just have to wait that time. But I was told to constantly check my email or the website. Ooh, drop my keys. Um, check the website or my email and see if I have a license number. The license number will pop up before I get the actual license in the mail. So... In the next like three days, I'm gonna be all on that website checking, <laughs> checking for a license number. And yeah, I you'll know, you guys will definitely know cause I am going to post it as soon as I get it. So stay tuned now, crew, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this school vlog. And if you're in school right now doing nail school or cosmetology school vlogs, please drop your link below. I would love to watch. I would love to show support. I'm sure some of my viewers and supporters would love to see and support you as well. So leave your link below so that we can all check out your school vlogs. We can learn from each other. We can help each other. And I would love to see your journey. All right. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.